my god, it looks like doodles. Good morning, we're starting this weekly vlog on a Wednesday at 12 o'clock. We slept in till 12 o'clock, not even kidding. It's 11.48 and we just got out of bed and put these outfits on and now we're having a coffee. Also, I got a gray hair. I was getting ready, putting my makeup on. I was like, what the fuck is this? And it was this big gray hair right there. So we need to start doing things that like de-stress us because we haven't done any exercise. We want to start the gym. Actually, you know what? We don't really have a routine and it's really tiring us. Like we don't have this like healthy routine. We're getting up really late, going to bed really late. So you know what? That's going to change, but not yet. We're going to do that in August. We're just making our coffee and I just went to grab the coffee out of the drawer. Like this is how we've been getting our coffee and sugar. But guess what has arrived? We want to open it with you. I'm sorry to start this vlog again with an unboxing. Oh, wow. We have our canisters. For some reason, this has been the most exciting package to arrive for me. So we went on Kitchen Warehouse and we found some really good canisters on there. Whoa, oh, they're actually bigger than I expected. They're beautiful, aren't they? And they're light. Oh, and they're not glass, they're like tin. So if you drop them, it's all good. Really good. Well, there you go. They look really cute. They're cute, they're like a retro. It literally says retro on the website. And yeah, I like them. Except the tea started to sag. First of all, we have to wash them. We got slack from our other video. We didn't wash our cutlery. Well, I mean, if you think about it, it's dirty. So you just don't think about it. <laughs> also got a matching, a matching utensils kind of stuff. Utensils. I love it. made ourselves a coffee and we are about to do a zoom call with our new management we haven't actually like told you guys that we are with a new management i don't know if we told you in the last but vlog if you follow us on instagram you would have seen the little like um release thing to say that we are oh yeah amplify, amplify which is so exciting which is really cool it was like yeah. a really tough decision because you know we love our agency that we're with you know it's hard like at the end of the day it's all business related yeah but yeah i think we've made the right decision for our career we're just about to jump on a zoom call with amplify we're doing like a strategy session where we go through all of our goals and stuff which is really sweet i'm a little bit nervous i always get a bit nervous before going on zoom calls because it's just like yeah. the socializing thing i don't know and then like talking about myself kind of makes me a bit nervous like i don't like talking about myself we've got the notes up and we've written down some dot points of what we want to talk about but some of these goals honestly make me nervous just looking at them if the goals make you nervous it means that it's a good goal yeah it's the right goal wish us luck and then after this we're thinking of going for a walk and then maybe watch a movie no we actually have to do editing but we do want to watch a movie tonight we have no tv but we will just watch a movie on our laptop if you didn't watch our last vlog you wouldn't know that we're still waiting for the tv we have our lounge our lounge arrived last week which is very exciting the only thing that we're waiting for is the tv so that tv is coming on Friday. It's currently 5.16. We went for a walk and we went to the post office and we got quite a lot from the post office. We were expecting nothing to be there, but we had three parcels there. I'm very interested in that top one. I think I want to open this first. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. Wait, who sent us this? Shopping board. <gasps> oh, that's, that's so nice. This is the nicest wow. chopping board I've ever seen in my life. Look at that art. That's so special. That's there a beautiful card? A card in there. Hi, Jazz and Renee. My name is Shay. I am an Aboriginal artist. I absolutely love you guys. Your videos give me happiness and comfort. I really wanted to paint this for you guys as a housewarming gift. You can hang this on the wall or place this on your kitchen bench with some candles or other ornaments on top. Whoa. I hope you love it. You guys are truly an inspiration. Don't ever stop being you. That Thank you. So this is talented. so beautiful. Shay literally painted this. <gasps> Look at those colors. This one smells, the outside smells good. So there's something that smells yummy in there. Wow, that smells so good. Oh shit, we are oh. so excited. All those little soaps. And it's vegan and palm free. I love their packaging. Whoa. Okay, so first of all, I've got the foaming sugar scrub. Kakadu plum. Ooh. Wait till you read this. I've written some wait, funny things on this. Wait, what? Mm. Read that. Ron Weasley. <laughs> Vanilla and salted caramel, the Harry Potter collection. How cool is this? Oh my God, why does it instantly become just like- My favorite thing ever. A really amazing soap. Just writing Ron Weasley on the little packet. <laughs> Unicorn farts. Unicorn farts. What a really cool business. This is so cool. What's this one? This smells so Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh. I'm a little mouth watering. Wait, I need to show you the one, Ron Weasley. Ron Weasley. And it's all natural too. Cold oh. processed palm oil free. You can see all the ingredients on there, okay? recommend this soap business we'll leave her instagram up here like her business we'll leave links down below hopefully i remember to put it in the description box but yep. yeah look at her soaps and they're so pretty and they smell so good this one is our favorite thank you so much thank you i'm so, so sweet another thing is that i only like to get bar soap because there's no packaging involved and it's so sustainable like this piece of cardboard that's it that's it next package we have this big box here Imagine. whoa that's so bougie undo that 
Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's so funny. Thank you on it. I think that brand is called Cube. She's written. Wow, the packaging is packaging so beautiful. So beautiful. Look, yeah. and this little pouch. Oh, there's oh, straws. The straws. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh. We just bought a blender too, as well. And we have no straws in the house. And they have the brand at the top there. After That's that. so cool. And they have oh, ones they that are do. bent as well. See the word Q on it? Hey, what is it? Oh, oh yes. This is oh so cool. My oh my gosh. god, it's so pretty. It's all different peppercorns in one. How does this that is fancy? Hey. Whoa. And you just refill them. Yep. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I just imagine dropping this lava lamp and seeing all the liquid go everywhere. That'd be so sad. Let's open this big boy. And here is our coffee machine. We got the Breville one, but we got the updated one. Updated Breville. Mum has the Breville machine and it's so good. We've had two Breville machines, but then apparently there's an updated one. Yeah. So we ended up getting that one. Honestly, we were actually going to get the one that mum has. We were going to get the updated one, but then we saw that they had a sea salt color, which is like going to go perfectly in the kitchen because the other one only had a choice of black or stainless steel, but I wanted yeah. white, like sea salt. We did get a discount code from a follower. Oh yeah, because she works in Breville. Yeah, I just want to say thank you. I don't know if you're watching. Like, thank you so much for that code. Like we, it was a really good discount. And like even just choose the right machine for us. Like yeah. she helped us choose really it. Yeah, like so us. grateful. <gasps> Whoa, Whoa. so pretty. I'm so happy. Cute. It goes with all of our appliances. A toaster, kettle. So the only difference with the other one, like the upgraded one, this is the upgraded, is apparently it tamps in the machine. Like you don't have to put, like the other one you have to that? bring the tamp out, but this actually tamps in the machine. <gasps> oh, there you go. You can actually see the tamp go down. The blender came with a book, like a little recipe book. So this is what our blender looks like. It's got this big machine at the bottom. Apparently you can do some really cool stuff, like make soup, crush ice. I can make ice cream. Look at us. We're gonna go to the gym. We're gonna have smoothies. You can do a little one because we got a little container. You just use this blade. Shove it on there. Bowl. Good morning. I really want to keep sleeping. I don't want to get out of bed. I'm so tired. It's not even that early. It's eight o'clock. Pretty early in the morning right now. I think it's about 7.30 um, and we're just about to get ready for a meeting that we have this morning which is at 10 o'clock. It's with our accountant and then we're going to go to Pacific Fair to the shopping center to get pedicures and meet up with our stepmom and dad. It's funny I never used to use the brush when straightening the hair but after doing it on TikTok I learned that it's better to use a brush. I know I've been straightening my hair a lot lately, but it's because it saves me so much time and I've been so busy, but I do love my curls. Uh, makeup is done. I think I'm gonna wear my hair to the side like this. I was parting my hair, but now I'm like not really into the part. I feel like wearing something really comfortable because the weather is like really overcast and every time it's overcast, I wanna wear like a hoodie and like jeans. So that's what I'm gonna wear. I'm up, I finally got up. That was so hard. I've been so tired because of that big sleep in yesterday trying to get my body back on track. You know, when you're that tired, you're cranky. You just like not bothered to talk. Yeah, well, that's me right now. Anyways, Jazz and I had to get up early this morning because we have a zero file training at 10.30 a.m. It's like something to do with money. It's really boring. We've had a couple of training sessions, but we've got another one this morning at 10.30. And then after 10.30, we are driving straight to Pacific Fair to get our toenails done, our pedicure. That's basically the plans. And then after that, we're going to come home and do some editing. I'm just going to do my makeup real quick and I will show you what I'm wearing. It's so boring because I don't feel like wearing anything fun. I'm wearing jeans and a hoodie and my hair is really gross like i haven't wet it or done anything i was gonna do the whole curly girl method this morning and i was like that is not happening because it takes like an hour and a half we just finished the zero training it went really well i learned a lot jazz is just replying to some emails right now but we're about to head out of the apartment and get our toenails done we're gonna get white on our toenails of course i always get white toenails we get white shellac i would get my fingernails done but i got my fingernail sliced by the peeler yesterday, so like there's no point. Anyway, this is the outfit. I've never worn this before, like with the hoodie and the jacket in one. So I think it kind of looks like a man, but that's okay. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Is it Saturday? I think it's what I do. I just washed my hair. Finally, it's curly. It's back. 
back to curly. I'm just about to do my makeup and we're gonna go to the shops because there's a couple of things we need to get before our cousins come over next week, which I'm so excited about. We don't get to spend much time with our cousins because they um, live in Tari and they're literally like sisters to us, um, Alana and Kiara. And I know they're watching this because they're like our biggest supporters. I love them so much and I cannot wait to spend an entire week with them. But we want to make sure that the apartment is all like organized for visitors um, because they are sleeping here for a week. There's not much we have to get. We just have to get, uh, oh, we don't have to get this, but we want an ice machine because the fridge just doesn't do it fast enough. Oh, we don't have a TV yet. Update on the TV. It was supposed to arrive yesterday and it didn't. We were supposed to be with family yesterday, but we stayed here for the TV and it still didn't arrive. Anyway, it was expected three times, like three different Fridays. And then this was the third Friday that we were let down. So we are getting a little bit frustrated. It feels wrong to be a little bit frustrated because we're literally being gifted the TV and that's amazing. And yeah, that's pretty much the update. We have to get bulbs for our lamps because we have no bulbs. Spray some perfume. Oh my God, I'm running out of this. Oh. You know what? This is the first perfume that I'm gonna finish and repurchase. I've never finished a perfume and repurchased it. Good afternoon, it's 1.11. Make a wish, bitch. Really? Yeah, better hurry up before the shop shut. But I'm really proud of the outfit that I created today. I haven't worn these pants and I've owned them for like two years. They still have the tag on because I didn't know how to style them. And now I do for some reason. But yeah, this is my outfit today. Adorable. With the cute little shoes. It's giving Victoria, it's giving Paris. Victoria Paris. That's where I got the ID from. I was like, oh, I've got similar pants or like baggy pants. Anyways, Jasmine's making me some lunchy cheese, tomato, cheese. tomato on toast. Mm. Oh, this plate smells like egg. Oh, really? Yay. First stop is beacon lighting because we need bulbs for our lamps. Thank you. So pretty. I wonder how much their electricity bill is. There we go. Thank and your you receipts so in there is perfect. Guys. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, it's some really nice lips. I know, I was looking at those mirrors over there, look, with the lights around them. That's a big one, isn't it? What's that inch? 77. That's a 77 inch. Oh, wow. This is 65. We've got an ice maker and an iron because we still don't have an iron yet, but now we do. Just got in the car. We just went to did a little woolly shop. Got some food. Got some of this yogurt because every time I see it, it makes me hungry. Okay, cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mm. It reminds me of those. It looks like a super duper at school mm -hmm. and they don't sell them anymore. Yeah, it's sad. Unless they're Aldi. Mmm. <laughs> This is yum. That's the end of that. Quick grocery haul for those who want to know what we bought. Just a pre-warning, it's not healthy. Okay, we're having visitors next week, so we wanted to get some junk food because we're having, you know, it's gonna be party vibes in the apartment. Oh, yeah. Starting over here, we got some nacho chips. We got some of these plain crackers because we, we want like cheese and dips and stuff and I feel like you need these in the house. We always keep our mint slice and Tim Tens stocked up. I wasn't supposed to put these in the trolley, but these were at the counter and I was like, oh, you know what, like party, party next vibes. week. We've got some sausages, plant-based. Got some cottage cheese. Cottage cheese, carrot, broccoli, cucumber, mustard. Because I saw this thing on TikTok where it's like they've just played it up. It was like a raw diet. Food, raw surely. diet. It's the trend on TikTok at the moment. I, I thought try it. Letitia did the video too. Did you see that one? Oh yeah, I did. And strawberries. And it looks really yummy. So Dad's got all the ingredients for that. We've got some rice pudding. We've got some cookies because we want to fill our cookie jar, but our cookie jar is really small. So we're going to fill it up before our cousins get here. We got this big thing of Cheerios because I feel like every household needs cereal. And we were literally take, taking 10 minutes to decide which cereal we wanted. <laughs> got some burger buns, pretty warm. We have plant-based up and goes now. Dairy Vanilla. free. Dairy free, it's so good. Looks so yummy. To go with the whole platter and stuff, we got some of these bruschetta, like dried bruschetta things to put on a platter. We got some vanilla and caramel syrup for coffees. Rice wine vinegar to go with the sushi, to make sushi. We got some fortune cookies. We got some ice cream. Did you put these in? Yes, I did because we need all the different types and so now we got lots of ice cream. Bulletin. Yep. We also picked up some of this muesli because we got yogurt. Oh no, we don't actually. We need to get yogurt. Really? All right, that's all good. We got some of that. We got some more of these spicy tenders because they're so these yummy. These are the best. You have yeah. to get them. They're so Greens yum. and goodness. Finally got some drinking chocolate. We've been craving a hot chocolate and now we finally can make one. Got some cruskets for anyone feeling healthy. And we got these ones for anyone not feeling healthy. These are the best biscuits that you can ever eat. Got some maple syrup because I always cook with this, mainly with like my bolognese and stuff. Got some chips for the visitors, honey, soy chicken. 
skin and then sweet chili sour cream which is george's favorite some sugar some mixes for the alcohol soda water lemonade coca-cola and that's our big haul 199 199 We just unboxed our ice machine. This is where we're gonna put it. The only thing is we can't start using the ice machine. We have to wait two hours. That's what the instructions said because it's like the fridge. Like you can't turn it on because if it was laying on its side, it like mucks up with the oil at the back or something. I really don't even ask me, but we have to wait two hours before we can start using the machine. But you know what we can do? We can put our bulbs in the lamps and start using these lamps because we've never turned them on. We don't even know what they're like. We've got two bulbs and apparently they last like three years. All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it really works. Woohoo! It's perfect. And it's got the little. Whoa. It's beautiful. Whoa. We're about to do that trend. We just plated it up with the raw foods and the cottage cheese and mustard. We've actually never tried mustard or cottage cheese. We've seen a few people eat this and we want to try it. Basically, it's just mustard, ricotta cheese. Is it ricotta? No. Mm -hmm. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Carrot. Um, strawberries. We've got some raw broccoli. Cheers. Oh, mm. that's yum. Cheers. I actually like that. Mm. Kitchen before. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mmm. Mm. I'm just about to wrap up a present. It is from Shutter Film Co. We already bought something from Shutter Film Co, but this is a present. I've got this like sack thing here that I put all my leftover like wrapping paper and stuff like ribbons that I find. I found these two pieces of like string bow thing. So I'm gonna try and make a bow out of that. I also have some pink tissue paper and I'm gonna wrap it up in this cotton. I think she's gonna really like this. It's for our cousin who's coming on Wednesday, which is in two days. But I'm gonna just open it to see if everything's in there. We got her a camera, a film camera. I don't even know if she like has one of these already or if she even wants one. This is actually from us, but it's also from Georgia and Ben. So we've all put in and it's a film camera. Here it is. Here it is. Does that look weird? I think it's cute. So we decided to take a break from vlogging while our cousins were here. The only time we pulled out the camera was when our TV arrived. So we got gifted a TV from Sony. We are so grateful. The TV actually arrived at a really good time because our cousins were over and so was our brother and sister-in-law. So they helped us set it up. They're also here for the moment because we've been waiting for this TV for like a month. So it was like really special. Just want to thank Sony for gifting us this TV. Honestly, what is our life? Like this is crazy. Oh. <laughs> it's been two weeks since we've spoken to a camera. We weren't planning on having a break like when our cousins arrived, but it ended up being two weeks off. Update on what has happened. Number one, I got a speeding fine. My first speeding fine. Yay. Honestly, I'm shocked that it took this long. This place feels so different with the TV. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I just feel like watching TV every day, all day. Yeah, we ended time. up watching um, sex education and there's three seasons and we watched every single episode. And we've already seen the whole, yeah. all the seasons, but it's so good. I forgot how good sex ed was. If you haven't yeah. seen it, oh, I'm so jealous. Go I'm watch so it. Good. But if you also, if you have seen it and it was like last year, go watch it again because it's, it's so, so good, good to rewatch. To rewatch. Um, the other update is, you want to tell them? No, they probably already know about it. We signed up to the gym. Oh yeah. But I feel like that's such a big update. Well, we, we haven't actually gone to our first gone. session yet, but we, we signed, signed up. up. We have these little tags. Okay. So we go to the gym. Got our yeah. purple tags. We're making a smoothie, but these are the only bananas we have and they are rotten. Should be baking a cake with these, not a smoothie. We're also gonna put some of this in our smoothie. We did it yesterday and you can't even taste it. It's ashwagandha. And when you smell it, it smells really bad. Mm, like strong as, but you can't taste it. It smells like a tree. Actually, it kind of smells like a rotten fruit. Does it smell? Yeah, oh my God. Mm. What is but that? It's 
But it's really good for you. Do you want to pour your little aesthetic? Um, what ashwagandha does, it reduces your stress and anxiety. And apparently it also um, increases your energy levels and reduces like fatigue. So I feel like this is what we need. I like to mix water and milk together because I don't like my smoothies being too milky. But I like a little bit of milk. This is where this one's from. Adaptual. Small Australian business. And they were gifted to us, did you say? Yeah, all gifted. Yeah. So we're going to have a banana and blueberry smoothie. So we've got some frozen blueberries. Oh, we have some bright ones. We'll just throw them in too because they're going to go off. True. And bright ones? I meant non-frozen ones. Oh, these are big. You know, when blueberries are this size, they're not natural. Blueberries should not be this size. Probably not. It's what happens when you get them from Woolies or something. They should be small. Oh. Banana, blueberry, ashwagandha, milk and water. Does it need more sweetener? Probably. Yeah. Like maybe some honey? Okay, cheers. Taste test. Oh, I forgot ice. Oh, oh it's not going to be cold. It's not going to be cold. Mm. It's good, but what? Mm. Oh, it's yummy though. Yeah? Mm. It tastes a lot of banana in it. So it's currently 3.20 in the afternoon. Jazz and I are still in the apartment. We haven't really done much. My mouth's really pasty because I just ate a cookie. I don't like that. Just filmed a TikTok with Jazz, so she's currently editing that. I'm feeling really stressed and like flustered, and I think it's because my room is really messy. So I think I'm gonna take the time to try and organize my room and like clean it. As you can see, my wardrobe is like, look at that. I was like jamming clothes in. And when my room's messy, my brain is like messy and stressed. The thing is, I would love to clean my room, but I really struggle because I don't have any storage in my room. Like I've only got my wardrobe. Like I literally don't have anywhere to put my underwear and socks. Like it's currently, they're currently sitting in bags. Let me show you. And it's been like this ever since I moved in. This is currently where my shoes are supposed to be. And I have such a mess, like bags. Like this is bags of like headbands and hats. A bag back here with socks. Oh, this bag here has my underwear in it. Oh my God, there's shoes like everywhere, a camping chair, I don't know where to put that because we have no, we don't have much storage in this apartment. Look at this. You know what I mean? Like I've got nowhere to put anything. Like, and this. So when I say I'm going to tidy my room, I don't particularly know how I'm going to tidy it because I literally have nowhere to put anything. is looking a lot better than what it was looking like I have a lot of clothes so it's really hard to make it look neat also my pajamas are back there because I don't have a drawer for my pajamas so I have to put my pajamas in here and all of my hoodies and like yeah I've got a lot of clothes but anyways that's done I also tidied my shoe area still got my bag of socks and her bag of undies I've lit my lava lamp oh my god it looks like doodles Look at it. It's doing something really weird. Oh my God. It's freaking me out. That looks really disturbing. So yeah, we're having a really nice Saturday night. Quite exciting. We're about to cook dinner. Thinking of cooking hockey and noodles. This is what we're gonna make for dinner. Oh, it's actually udon noodles. Wokia udon wok ready noodles. Also, I shaved my underarms this morning and my hair was really short, so it's like really bad. Good morning. It looked like someone punched me in the face. Oh my god. So tired this morning and so is Jazz. It's currently 7.47 in the morning. That's really early for us. We've been getting up really late lately. As you guys know, at the, at the beginning of this vlog we woke up at like 12 o'clock. <laughs> There's a reason why we have to get up early this morning is because we are going to brunch. It's called like Soul Sundays at the QT in the Gold Coast. We have to drive like an hour and a half to get there. 
because we're in Brisbane and the Gold Coast is like an hour and a half away. It's the launch of Soul Sundays at Bazaar. I forgot to say that Jazz and I were invited and we had plus one tickets, so we decided to invite our sister-in-law. Maybe our brother's coming, but we're not really sure. Also, I really struggle with making a part in my hair. Like, it just doesn't work. Like, I put my finger down like that and then I brush it like that. That's how I do my parts. Just finished with my hair. It's looking very curly. It's still a little bit wet. Now I'm going to do my makeup. I'm just trying to decide if I want to film or get ready with me. So the outfit that I'm wearing for brunch, I've decided to wear this little white dress. I am finally ready. It's 9.13. We're planning on leaving at nine. So we, we are running late. Just wanted to give you a little outfit of the day. I'm wearing a dress. This is so unlike me. I normally wear pants. But I've decided to wear a little dress. So cute at the back. I'm wearing little white shorts underneath. I'm also going to wear this jacket over the top because it is cold outside. It's hot in the apartment though. But this is what it looks like with the jacket. So cute. I got this jacket from the Universal store and this dress is from Princess Polly. I'm also wearing my new shoes with the purple Nike tick. I don't know if I've showed you my new shoes. Yeah, I got these. Okay, we really have to go. Good morning. I'm so tired today, which is why I didn't pick up the camera. Like I still feel tired even after doing my makeup. Anyway, I'll show you my outfit. I've only worn this dress once and it was in Bali. So it's like really nice to wear it again. Here's the outfit. This dress is from Hello Molly and it's got a cutout at the back. My favorite part is that it's got two splits. This like little infinity cutout. I really like that. Um, and then I've just paired it with this bag and it goes with my shoes. Look. Oh, nice. Yep, the boots. 